And guys, I finally found a spot to actually film this video. And I'm finally filming the video I've been wanting to film for so, so, so long. Which is how much does it actually cost to build an E91 M3? For those of you guys who are new to the channel, this is a 2007 E91 M3 um, that I've been pretty much spending the entire better part of a year building. Now this bad boy, I have every single paper to every single part that I have purchased for this E91 M3 and I kept it all documented because this is one special build. And to have a custom M3 have zero lights on the dashboard is the best feeling in the world. Literally every single function works on this car and that's because we designed it to be this way. But I say we because honestly I couldn't even tackle this project full time if it wasn't for your guys' support so I truly appreciate for every single one of you guys clicking on these videos and I truly appreciate all of my friends and partners who helped you know with info or, or actually physically coming out to help me with like wiring and stuff like that. I am proud to say that this car was built in house. In house I mean literally in a house. <laughs> So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much it cost me to build the V1 version of the E91 M3. Now I know it's kind of dirty, but I don't want to clean anything until we start the process of the V2 version, mainly because this isn't gonna stay like this for long. Eventually this car is gonna be a lime rock orange and it's gonna look absolutely insane. But before I actually get into the price breakdown, I do want to just give you guys a quick little 360 of this E91 M3. We got every single possible feature to work, like the panoramic sunroof. We have the rear deck lid right over here to actually open up the rear glass and not only the rear glass the trunk as well so all this wiring shout out to my boy nick he flew down from denver and pennsylvania to help actually get all the wiring sorted it's a huge special shout out to him so we also got the quarter panels done on this car it actually has m3 quarters and this is an actual m3 bumper with an e91 bumper combined to actually make this rear end conversion come to life which you guys see over here as well this is an lci trunk so i was able to add the lci tail lights this is an 07 so this did not come lci but i feel like when you're building an e91 m3 the lci just looks so much better so that's what we have going on over there now the fronts and the rears are wrapped in michelin tires apex wheels with kw suspension all that stuff is pretty awesome and i got pretty much all that stuff completely for free we'll get into that in a little bit coming into the inside and this is one of the reasons why it is a v1 version the seats in the back don't match the seats in the front we have m3 seats m3 door cards but the rear seats still need to be reupholstered the headliner still needs to be redone it is in gray we definitely want to get a black headliner in here eventually and as you guys can see the car is wrapped it is not painted the wrap is a temporary thing to keep this car in the budget that i want to pretty much keep it in but if you guys check out this interior it does look super good steering wheel is coming soon for the v2 version and it's honestly probably gonna be one of the next videos and then coming around to the front the hood is popped right now but we have amazing fitment in the front with the m3 bumper m3 fenders m3 hood literally every part of this car came off of an m3 including the side skirts and if i go ahead and pop this hood we have the beautiful s65 engine and you guys can see the color that i do plan on painting this car which is the lime rock orange i actually already painted the engine bay to make life a whole lot easier we don't actually have to pull this engine again once we actually get the car painted but as you guys can see all the panels it is silver this was the donor car color so uh yeah we do need to get all this stuff painted eventually but like i said for the budget that we did this in which you guys will know pretty soon here you guys are going to understand why i wanted to have a v1 and a v2 the v1 version for the price that we pretty much finished this car for is is absolutely insane now to mind you guys this project i've had for over a year it was probably about six months of dedicated work to actually make this build come to life um so that being said factor in the labor for something like that we'll get into those numbers as well um but for the most part my cost of actually doing this build is uh it, it's pretty insane it's pretty insane guys so now that i pretty much have given you guys a 360 of this e91 m3 let's go ahead and talk to you guys about the price breakdown of how much it really costs to build something like this because i know a lot of people as such as my Myself, I've always wanted to build something like this and I just think this is something BMW should have released if, if not here at least in Germany so let's just go ahead and talk about what it actually took to pretty much even start this build and that took an E91 328 XI I actually got that XI 328i with a pretty much a bad motor the whole car is honestly a piece of garbage it needed a lot of body work as well that thing was just it needed some love so from where it came from which if I had some pictures I'm gonna throw it up somewhere over here from where it came from to where it is now I'm pretty sure that car is very proud at this point. So I got the E91 donor car for roughly, I think I think it was like $1,200. But the reason why I don't really consider it $1,200 is because I sold all the stock parts and the stock interior and the engine and the transmission and everything. I sold everything, including the cats. And by selling everything, I made my $1,200 back and then some. But I'm gonna go ahead and just say that the wagon was pretty much free because I really didn't spend much on it when I actually sold all the stock stuff on it. Now the thing that cost a lot of money, the biggest thing that actually got me to where I am right here, but the the smartest 
best way to do it is by getting a donor M3. I went on Copart and purchased a donor E90 M3 uh, manual for only $13,193. That was the biggest thing I needed to actually get started with this build. If you buy all the individual pieces like the suspension and all that kind of stuff, the engine, the transmission, and the interior and all the little bits, it's gonna cost way too much getting all that stuff used. So I definitely recommend getting a donor car for this project. Not to mention all the small bracket pieces and things we actually needed uh, to get everything mounted up. So now that we got the big ticket items out of the way, uh, the E91 was pretty much free. The M3 was about $13,000. Let's get into all the other things I actually had to purchase uh, to actually make this conversion come to life. So first things first, as you guys can see, is this rear end. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, Nor, how much did it actually cost you to convert the quarter panels, convert this rear bumper, and get everything pretty much dialed in? Now for this whole rear end conversion, we're talking rear bumper combined, the plastic bumper brackets where we're behind this bumper to actually get it to fit, um, the quarter panels cut and welded off of an M3. On both sides, the total cost was $2,400 um, for labor. I didn't actually get it painted, so yeah. To actually cut the quarter panels off, weld on the new quarter panels, convert the rear bumper, um, do everything. I actually had some repairs done to this trunk as well, and a few other things cost me $2,400 um, to actually get this booty to look this good. The next thing that actually makes this rear end look so good is gonna be this trunk. This is an LCI trunk that I ended up purchasing for $280. Um, mine's was not an LCI, so I did have to purchase this trunk. Again, $280 for the trunk, and these taillights were super hard to find because I thought they were E90 taillights, but unfortunately they weren't. So they're E91 specific taillights. Those taillights costed me roughly over $380. So $380 for the taillights, $280 for the trunk. Um, so yeah, this rear end definitely cost me a lot of money here, but I think it is totally worth it. Now also back here, we do have the battery. Uh, the battery is a brand new OEM BMW battery. I paid 200 and I believe $273 for that battery. Now the M3 donor that I got from auction unfortunately had a bad alternator. So things that I actually needed was a used but somewhat new alternator. This alternator only had 30,000 miles on it. So I actually got the alternator for $120 used, which I think is a killer deal. And then we also actually upgraded the actuators. So we got brand new throttle actuators from FCP Euro. We paid $1,350 for those two brand new actuators. Those were an absolute necessity for a build like this. The next thing we need to do honestly here pretty soon will be rod bangs. Um, but we did already do the throttle actuator. So we got those bad boys knocked out. Now in the front as well, I forgot to mention that these air ducts did not come on my donor car, unfortunately. So I did have to purchase both these air ducts. Um, those run me about $95 for both sides. So what you guys are seeing from the outside of the car, every single thing that's black is wrapped in black. So we have the whole roof wrapped in black. We have these bad boys wrapped in black to save some money. And we also wrap these in black in the meantime as well. Honestly, believe it or not, we actually wrapped the kidney grills as well. I cannot believe how dirty this car is right now. But yeah, pretty much all the black axis you guys see here has been wrapped in black and the car itself has been wrapped in red. The total cost to wrap this entire car, because again, it was done in-house, was $930 to wrap this thing entirely to make it look pretty good and drivable in the meantime. Because you guys know this car was multiple colors and it definitely needs the love and attention to eventually get painted. And don't worry guys, it will be hopefully here in the near future. Something I also forgot to mention is this rear exhaust. To get it mounted, there was no brackets from the factory E91 rear end. We had to take it to an exhaust shop to actually get the rear portion of this exhaust mounted up. The rest of the exhaust mounted up like OEM. The rear portion did need to get welded up. So that is now officially sorted. That was roughly $270 at an exhaust shop. Now, other things that I actually purchased for this car that's gonna be for the V2 version as well is this black trunk liner. Everything I see over here that's in black, I purchased that from Pick and Pull. The headliner, I, I purchased that from Pick and Pull. And there's a bunch of other little brackets and pieces I ended up having to purchase. And the total cost for honestly, all the little things in the Pick and Pull runs were only $400, surprisingly. Now, coming around to the interior of this car, if I go ahead and boot up the screen, you guys can see this is no standard navigation system. I actually also forgot to put in the screws there. <laughs> but this is not your standard navigation system. It might look like a standard CIC unit. We have the CIC controller. But this bad boy is an MBT Evo kit that you would see in like the 2018 and plus models on the F chassis. As you guys can see, we have a wagon right over there from the F chassis. It looks super sick. We have a custom boot up that actually has the M logo on here as well. And then we also have built-in Apple CarPlay, which I absolutely love. That system, my homie Nick actually hooked me up with and we got this system for a thousand dollars honestly it should have been a lot more um parts labor should have been somewhere around the three thousand 
$1,000 mark, um, but he definitely hooked me up. And I definitely thought that this system was a necessity for a custom build like this. I'm super happy to get that done. Also for the interior, in terms of custom, we also got this carbon fiber centerpiece custom made for this car. I believe buying the trim was about $80. It was slightly beat up and we had it redone in carbon fiber. This is not a wrap. This is actually redone in carbon fiber. I think I spent roughly about $200 to actually get this thing made, which I think is a pretty good deal for this bad boy. And then you guys saw on the dashboard, we have zero lights on this car, which is so, so, so satisfying. It is hard to see zero lights in any BMW, let alone a car that you fully built from the ground up. Like that is very difficult to do. And that was a major priority for me. I, in terms of mechanical, in terms of uh, pretty much the wiring system and the, the whole computer of this car, it is fully configured and it works so seamlessly. It literally feels like an OEM E91 M3. And that was the goal of this project to begin with. Now, in terms of the wiring, it did run me about $1,000. It should have run me like honestly four to $5,000, but it ran me only $1,000 because I had my boy again, Nick. I flew him out from Denver. It was pretty much the cost of honestly flying him out, getting him down here. Shout out to him. He didn't really charge me labor. It was more of just his expenses to actually come down here and help me with this build. And he really wanted to be a part of this build. So again, huge special shout out to Nick. I, I have so many other people to thank, but the main little intricate pieces, my boy Nick actually helped me pretty much sort all this stuff out. I am not a professional, but I'm a man with the dream. And thankfully I have some of you guys that are wanting to help me. And I'm just, I, I just truly appreciate you guys. So that being said, including the wiring and everything else, like I just stated earlier to get the car to where it is today without the wheels, without the tires, without the KWs, the total cost to actually build this car is $22,408. And this car is 119,000 miles, which is what the frame has, the body has. Um, so yeah, I think for 120,000 miles, E91 M3, yes, it's not 100% dialed in yet in terms of aesthetics, but for $22,000, I think that's a killer deal. You guys can let me know down below. Now, obviously that price is for me because I put in the labor to pretty much get this whole car put together. Now I called a few shops that actually done this work on customers' cars, like rich people that actually paid shops to actually get this kind of work done. They pretty much brought them the two cars and they paid them to literally do the whole conversion for them. And because of how limited a project like this is, I only found two shops that actually did this conversion and both shops quoted me somewhere around $25,000 just in labor. That's just in labor to get this build pretty much complete. And their average time they said to actually build a car like this was eight to 12 months. So the fact that we pretty much accomplished this build as well in the same time frame as a professional shop feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Now back here, we have some brand new Michelin Pilot Sport S's. These are brand new in the rear, they're semi used the front actually the fronts need to be replaced unfortunately because of the inner wear um i don't know what happened with that but basically yeah we need two new front tires even though they're pretty much new um the rear tires are new so that's amazing and i have apex wheels i believe these are 19 by 10s in the rear and 19 by 9s in the front and then we're also sitting on kw suspension kw coilovers now i do plan on getting those wheels refinished i wanted to have a gloss black look with the lime rock edition i think it's gonna look super 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 sick and the crazy story with the suspension the wheels and the tires i actually purchased another donor car for a flip we picked it up for really cheap ended up flipping for a lot more money i put pretty much all the stock parts the stock suspension that we got off our donor car the original one um and the wheels and everything i put it on that car that i flipped and then all that stuff i took off that car put it on this car so it was pretty much free it was pretty much as if i got it from the original donor car because it didn't cost me a single penny i actually made money on the other car so that feels absolutely amazing to have kws on here apexes and michelin tires completely for free that definitely honestly makes the car look a lot nicer the stock wheel did not cut it for me so i'm super happy with that now if i did have to purchase all those things used the kws would have probably been around fifteen hundred dollars the apex wheels on tires would have been probably around eighteen hundred dollars used as well and we did get beamer tech actually to sponsor this build as well for the beamer tech sound system we have the full sound system in this car the amplifier the speaker set everything that would have ran us twenty five hundred dollars but shout out to them for partnering up on this build didn't cost me anything so i'm super grateful for that and honestly the sound system in this car is so 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 nice so like i said earlier when sitting in the car it really is an amazing experience and honestly from the outside it's it's picture perfect but it's not where i want it i want this car to be absolutely perfect from the inside at least from the driver's perspective it is really nice we have the mbt evo we have the amazing sound system we have this beautiful carbon fiber trim and we're getting this build together 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 we're gonna have the v2 version eventually here soon and i'll have a price breakdown on that but the v1 version cost me the way you guys see this car cost me twenty two thousand dollars let me know down below guys if that is a killer deal or did i overpay 
uh, for a custom car because technically this is still a 328i on the VIN number. So, so let me know down below. Should I try trading this car in and see how much they will offer me? Will they offer me 328i money? <laughs> I think we might have to give that a shot. But anyways, again, let me know down below, guys. This is kind of just a shorter video and just kind of an informative video for those of you guys who are wondering how much will it cost me to actually build this car yourselves? If you want to take it to a shop, expect to pay around $50,000 parts and labor all in and that's being wrapped. That's not painted. So I definitely recommend if you guys want an E91 M3, I definitely recommend building it yourself. And plus, honestly, I am so emotionally attached to this car. I've never honestly been emotionally attached to any cars. I've probably owned over 30 cars or probably even more than that in my lifetime. And I've never honestly been so happy to drive a car just because like I know that I didn't give up on something and I actually persevered and I am literally just, it's the reward of driving it after all that hard work. Guys, there were times that I was building this car that I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> like it's been, it just got to the point that it was so tedious. It was just such a long job, a lot of days outside in the rain, a lot of days um, just on the cold floors. It was just such a pain to get this car together, but it's done and uh, I'm truly happy. Again, for the price that I'm into and shout out to everyone that watches my videos. I honestly couldn't have done it. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to be able to work on this myself if I had to go get a job. So again, truly appreciate you guys for supporting this build. And uh, again, V2 version coming pretty soon here. When I say soon, I mean, it's gonna be in the works. But without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys found this video informative, make sure you smash that like button for me. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.